seconds and counting. Hey, what's good guys? It's Clutch and your entertainment here, back in another video. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Houston Texans. And some recent news has recently dropped by Texans reporter Aaron Wilson. And he says that the Texans have formally met with Florida quarterback Anthony Richardson. And at first thought, once I hear that news, I'm pretty excited. I mean, Anthony Richardson... He's a player that when you look at, you get very excited watching. He does a lot of exciting stuff. He does a lot of Superman-like plays. When you watch him, he does some Lamar Jackson-type plays. Just a bunch of different type of athletic plays, big throw plays, big run. Uh, he's able to do it all. I mean, but another bad thing about him is he's a very boomer bust prospect. Probably one of the biggest boomer bust prospects in this draft. And definitely one of the biggest boomer bust prospects prospect quarterbacks in recent memory probably since josh allen i mean when you saw josh allen was i think 2018 when he came into the draft he didn't have the best career in college but he also didn't have the worst but a lot of his was just based on potential big arm which anthony richardson has ideal quarterback size which anthony richardson has pretty good speed which anthony richardson is probably like a four four at at worst four five type of guy when you watch him, his game speed shows that he's much faster, though. And when you watch that, Anthony Richardson has the speed. So he pretty much has everything that you want from a, from a current-day modern quarterback. When you watch quarterbacks in the NFL right now, when you watch Patrick Mahomes, when you watch Josh Allen, when you watch Lamar Jackson when he's healthy and actually competing and for the playoffs and whatnot, when you watch those type of quarterbacks, they all have similar things in common. They all can extend the play. They all have good size. They all are super, super athletic. And Anthony Richardson kind of fits that mold. But then at the same time, Anthony Richardson can just turn in to be this quarterback that's too, that takes too many risks during games, that just does a lot of unnecessary stuff. And that's one of the things that Anthony Richardson can't do when he gets to the NFL. But that's not really the point of the video. It's just to talk about that the Texans have met with Anthony Richardson. And again, I'm pretty excited to hear the news. I'm not sure if we would take him at two, but at this point, you may have to take him at two if you really want him, because I don't personally think he's going to slip out the top six, top seven. I think Indy possibly could take him. Carolina could possibly take him. The Raiders could possibly take him. A team could trade up to take him. There's a lot of different things that could happen, and I don't see him falling to 12 at all. And I don't even think Houston will be able to trade up from 12 to take him, because nobody's going to want to trade back if they have a chance of taking uh, Anthony Richardson in the top 10. So, I mean, if you really, really like him, I think you'd have to take that gamble and take him at two. I'm not sure if Nick Casario would want to risk that, especially with how bad this team's been. Do you really want to take a quarterback that's probably not going to play at all, or at least play, not start week one? He's probably going to, if he does play, it'll probably be like later in the season, like towards the end of the season. You're probably going to have to start Davis Mills, or you're probably going to have to sign a veteran quarterback, whether that be like a Jacoby Brissett or something like that. But yeah, it's exciting to see. But then at the same time, when you think about it, it's like there's so much that goes into it. Do we trust our coaching staff to develop him? We have a pretty good quarterback coach from what it seems in Gerald Johnson. I mean, he has I don't believe he's been a quarterback coach as of yet. But, I mean, you're going to have to wait and see. Bobby Slowick, first time OC. You're going to have to wait and see. But based on potential in the staff, it looks like they could be able to mold him into something. But it's just going to depend on Anthony Richardson. How good does he want to be? Does he want to be an elite quarterback, a top five quarterback? I think he has top five potential. But, yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know below in the comments. Do y'all like Anthony Richardson? What do y'all take him out to? Thoughts on the Texans meeting with him? It was also reported by Aaron Wilson that Houston is expected to meet with the other top quarterbacks, being Bryce Young, CJ Stroud, Will Levis, and whatnot. But yeah, what do you guys think? Should we draft Anthony Richardson? Should we draft one of the other quarterbacks? Should we take Will Anderson, who we've already met with at the Combine? Yeah, let me know y'all's guys' thoughts down below in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe. And it's been Clutch City Entertainment out. Peace.